Laban Sayum is an industrious man working long hours running a small trucking company in Jessup, Maryland. We're going to leave at Rotoran for a few minutes. He came to the United States with his family in 2000 hey. to escape war between Ethiopia and Eritrea. Sayum says he is a fiscal and social conservative and a big supporter of Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump. When uh, President Trump was in power, it was an amazing type of uh, business, you know, the, the market was great, the job opportunities were great, and uh, uh, people were optimistic. Sayum is a registered Republican who ran for his party's nomination to be Maryland's U.S. Senator. He says businesses like his are feeling the pinch of high fuel prices, which he blames on Democrats. Right now, unfortunately, with the gas prices, uh, it's hovering around $5 for the diesel, four fifty five dollars for the diesel. And uh, that renders this business a lot uh, uh, unprofitable. Understanding that volatile global oil prices are set by a complex combination of factors, Sayum says Trump has the answer. Trump showed us the way to do it. You drill, you drill, you drill, you drill, and then uh, you compete. You see, now we don't need to explore other ideologies. I think on Mother's Day. Fatmata Berry sees the choices in this election differently. She came to the United States from Sierra Leone when she was 11. Berry got her law degree, works as a community and civil rights organizer, and is executive director of the Police Accountability Board in Montgomery County, Maryland. She is voting for Kamala Harris. I think Vice President Kamala Harris is a person for the people. She is the person we need right now to bridge the divide that is in this country. You're fired. You're doing Barry says she is worried about another Trump presidency. I am scared. The fear of immigrants is starting up again. The fear of black and brown people is starting up again. And it's hard when the person on top is leading it so everyone else feels comfortable. Where do you want it? Barry volunteers at a local food bank okay. and says gains in the U.S. economy are not benefiting <laughs> everyone equally. The contrast basically is that the top 0.1% will have all the money and the rest of us will be struggling if you go with Trump. And uh, the nation was never built like that. America became America because of the work that the blue collar workers did in this country. Pew Research says naturalized citizens account for about 10% of the U.S. electorate. And most of those voters have been here for more than 20 years. Jeff Swicord, VOA News, Silver Spring, Maryland.